Hey there. Today I'm gonna be reviewing an Indian fountain pen. Uh, this is the uh, that pen. This is Airmail 74. Uh, Airmail is an Indian company based uh, in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Uh, the owner of this company is uh, Mohanlal Mir Chandani, and the company was established in 1951. So this makes this Airmail company the oldest uh, Indian uh, pen fact uh, company in uh, in India. So Airmail mostly produces eyedropper fountain pens, uh, which are somewhat cheap and decent fountain pens. So today I'm gonna uh, show you the parts of this fountain pen. I will do a writing sample with it, and I will discuss my likes and dislikes about this fountain pen. So let's get started. So AML 74 uh, for size comparison right beside a Pilot Metropolitan and a Parker Frontier. It's a uh, standard size fountain pen. Now let me zoom out a little bit to show you the parts and features. So it's a uh, fairly normal shape uh, fountain pen. Uh, it's a blue marble finish with chrome trim this comes only in chrome trim now the parts uh, the cap finial has this metal uh, finial with a dimple uh, and also at the barrel end also has the same uh, metal uh, finial with dimple but the uh, cap one is much uh, big in diameter so, and it's kind of good to rub the finger on this uh, finial, dimple finial. It kinds of it feels like fidgety kind of a, a thing. Uh, when I'm using this fountain pen, I kind of use uh, do this with the uh, cap finial. Now the uh, this uh, metal cap is quite springy and sturdy, but it's a bit crooked. As you can see, it's uh, crooked to the left side of this fountain pen no matter how much I try to uh, bend it to the right position it always tends to uh, go to the left so it's a crooked uh, clip but the clip is quite functional and sturdy now the cap tapers uh, up and to a metal band which helps in prevention of the uh, crack at the end of this cap band now the cap uh, it's a screw on cap and the cap unscrews in one and a half uh, rotation to reveal the section and the fine nib uh, with the semi hooded fine nib now the cap uh, posts very deeply and securely as you can see uh, it becomes a fairly decent size fountain pen with the cap posted also it doesn't back with the fountain pen rather it uh, makes the fountain pen a little bit better balanced while writing for longer writing sessions now here comes the uh, section and the barrel uh, the nib is the semi hooded uh, fine nib with an ebon a black ebonite feed the section tapers down uh, to reveal this uh, semi hooded nib but uh, one thing I like about this section is this arrow shape which uh, adds to the aesthetic of this fountain pen as well as to uh, let you know where the nib is because many tends to roll their pens while lighting so this arrow will help them to know where the nib is and where to point on the paper with this nib now this is an eyedropper fountain pen and I won't uh, this barrel whole barrel is filled with ink uh, so I won't open the barrel to show you the eyedropper function you just take a, uh, an eyedropper or, a, or an ink syringe to uh, suck up uh, ink from your ink uh, favorite ink bottle and just uh, fill this barrel with full of ink and the barrel holds almost this much of ink a lot of ink and the barrel now tapers down to this uh, barrel end finial with metal dimple uh, section and on the barrel it says if yeah it says air mail registered over here a silver plating was there on the air mail uh, engraving now it is wearing off and the air mail uh, at least uh, you can see the airmail is written 
if I can show you properly over oh, here yeah. ARML registered so that's pretty much it uh, with the parts and features of this fountain pen now let me do some writing sample with it let me zoom in more so the pen is AML 74 semi hooded fine nib and the ink A for today is Dayton leaf green I think this uh, ink ma uh, matches with the pen pretty good now let's do some writing now some fast writing no issue no harshness no skips whatsoever now uh, one thing i like about this section is that uh, as this full section has nothing but a round shape on it so uh, it's uh, perfect for uh, every uh, fountain pen users because no matter whoever uh, wants to hold their pen closer to the nib it's comfortable for them also whoever wants to hold their whoever holds their pen uh, towards the back of this section high gripper uh, is comfortable for them also so you can play around with the uh, section of this fountain pen as it's very much comfortable to hold at any position of this section now some wetness of this uh, nib as you can see it's uh, pretty much uh, decent uh, I have, now I have some ink fibers on this nib as I've told you it's a uh, fine nib uh, and so it will be like this uh, uh, pretty much scratchy and uh, feedbacky on the page so and Dayton ink are Dayton inks are very much wet inks so this amount of ink will come out of your of this fountain pen though I have fine-tuned the nib uh, to my writing preferences still this is the uh, wetness of the nib now now as this is the fine uh, hood, semi hooded fine nib there won't be any line variations uh, you will get on this nib as you can see it's very very stiff stiff like a nail there won't be any line variation now for some reverse writing It's very scratchy just too much scratchy but uh, the ink uh, the nib and the feet keeps up even with the reverse as writing making it uh, an extra fine nib so if you want you can write with it for a few words but I won't uh, suggest you to do that because it's too much uh, scratchy to write uh, with this uh, uh, nib uh, on the reverse side of this nib so that's pretty much it for the writing sample of this fountain pen now let's discuss about the likes and dislikes so what do I like and what do I not like about this ARML 74 uh, it's basically a cheap fountain pen uh, no hush no fuss with this fountain pen nothing much is going on with it uh, the price of this fountain pen is around 150 to 200 maximum 250 rupees uh, in any online retailer shop uh, you won't find this fountain pen in any offline stores so it's around two to three bucks so it's very cheap fountain pen uh, 
the plastic quality of this fountain pen is really good uh, I like the feel of this plastic quality uh, it's not che at all cheap uh, to hold in your hand that you will feel the plastic quality is a little bit cheaper due to because of the price point it's not uh, the color combination is green marble uh, as it's this color combination is called uh, green marble and I pretty much like this uh, color combination in this fountain pen next is uh, it's an eyedropper only fountain pen as I have shown you told you in my previous part of this video so you will get a decent quality of ink capacity in this fountain pen uh, as of uh, and also the cap post uh, at the back of the barrel deeply and securely giving you a very balanced fountain pen uh, so if you want to write with this fountain pen posted you can if you don't want you don't have to post this fountain, uh, cap uh, another thing is that uh, this as I've shown you in my previous uh, part of this video the uh, cap and the uh, barrel finial uh, are metal insert with a dimple uh, so the cap finial is a slightly larger in diameter the dimple diameter uh, as i've sh shown you as you have seen so it's uh, kind of fidgety and it's uh, i feel uh, when i'm using this fountain pen i kind of do like this uh, with the dimple i just rub my finger uh, on this uh, cap uh, finial and it kind it makes me happy when I'm doing this with the cap finial it's kind of fidgety type of thing uh, another good thing is that this cap uh, this metal cap band at the end of the cap uh, helps in preventing the cap from crack cup issues while over tightening of the pen uh, so uh, another uh, so it's a good uh, aesthetic it also uh, adds to the aesthetic of the fountain pen as well because as you can see the proportion metal 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 plastic metal plastic metal though this uh, distance between the cap finial and the um, metal cap band is a bit short than the cap finial uh, cap band and the uh, barrel end finial still it looks kind of good uh, the clip is quite sturdy as I have shown you uh, in my previous part of the video it posts uh, it clips on to your shirt pocket or in pen case without uh, any uh, problem uh, another thing that I have shown you that this uh, arrow section in uh, on the uh, arrow design on the uh, section is uh, both aesthetically and uh, functioning and functioning and functionality I will call it uh, is good because uh, in aesthetic part it uh, adds a touch of uh, good looks to the section and the pen while you're writing with it and for the functioning part uh, I will say it uh, tells you where the nib should be uh, on the top of the nib part is so that while you're writing and your roll many has have tendency to roll over their pens uh, sometimes they get lost as to where the nib is on the uh, page so this uh, arrow shape uh, gives you that uh, knowledge of where the nib should be and how the nib should be aligned with the paper to uh, write on the paper next uh, uh, this pen is uh, as I've told you it's an eyedropper fountain pen so it's very easy to clean uh, you just have to clean the barrel and the uh, feet and the nib and the uh, inside of this section so it's very uh, easy to clean and another thing is that uh, another good thing which I like about this fountain pen is the uh, number of turns it takes to open the uncap the fountain pen is just only one and a half turn and your pen uh, uncaps so it is kind of good uh, for quick writing uh, for quick taking of quick notes if you have to uh, uncap your fountain pen in a meeting or school in between school notes and you have to uncap the fountain pen uh, quickly it's good because you just have to 
turn the cap or the pen one and a half turns and it will uncap and you can start writing with it next is uh, dislikes now the dislikes uh, the main dislike about this fountain pen will be uh, the as uh, it comes only in fine nibs uh, so it's kind of a scratchy i will say not because of misalignment of the uh, tines nib tines or like something like that as it's a fine nib so it's somewhat scratchy uh, and uh, not a little bit feedbacky but a lot of feedbacky because of that fine nib another thing will be that uh, for on longer writing sessions i don't know maybe it's because uh, maybe just my unit uh, with the problem is with my unit on longer writing sessions the nib uh, tends to starve uh, with ink it runs dry on few lines uh, perhaps three four lines it will uh, run dry and they again, again after few, three four lines it will again uh, gush out ink so there's a problem uh, i think with the feet uh, though this is an ebonite feet but it does not uh, skips or hard starts or anything but uh, sometimes may say about uh, one and a half page later it will turn uh, right it will uh, the ink will dry up and the nib will uh, start to throw uh, less amount of ink so in starvation of ink is there in this unit i don't know uh, about uh, other fountain pens who uh, have these fountain pens i have not seen any uh, review of this fountain pen who claims this uh, problem with their fountain pen but i have with this uh, unit so after uh, so this is a thing that you have to take note of uh, if you want to buy this fountain pen you can buy it in on amazon snapdeal flipkart uh, few uh, online uh, retail online stores uh, only this pen is available no offline stores carry this pen uh, another thing will be as i've told you that it's a fine nib only because this pen comes only in fine nib so had it been come with at least medium it would have been much bit be better i think that uh, the uh, scratchiness would have much been much less and uh, the feedback also would have been much less so that's pretty much it about this fountain pen about this aml 74 hope this video was useful guys and i will see you in the next video bye bye